Hello my friends, Gabriel here, back with another video and today I'm going to show you the Nokia Lumia 635 running on Windows Phone 10 preview for developers, the latest build you already know the device, uh, just a short recap uh, we have a 4.5 inches uh, diagonal uh, screen uh, quad core CPU Snapdragon 400 clocked at uh, 1.2 GHz with uh, 512 uh, megabytes of RAM and uh, on the back of the phone sits a 5 megapixel camera with uh, no LED flash. This pretty much does it for the specs. And now let me show you how Windows Phone 10 is running on uh, this mid ranger from the Lumia lineup. This is not uh, a premium device, this is an affordable, affordable device which. Uh, you can buy for uh, approximately 150 euros at least uh, that's the price where I live I've installed Windows Phone 10 on the Lumia 635 mainly because I want to see what uh, the new operating system from Microsoft will look like I'm actually trying to decide if I want to go back uh, to Windows Phone mainly because I'm uh, sick and tired of Android I'm sick and tired of uh, their uh, very very bad software updates so uh, I bought the Lumia 635 that you see here only to test uh, Windows Phone 10 to see how it runs to see what features will be present in uh, this new update that's uh, due to, to launch at the end of July just to, to help make my mind if I really want to go back to Windows Phone. If you are a subscriber to my channel and you've seen uh, my videos, you know that I really love Windows Phone. You know that I consider it to be the best operating system on the market in terms of stability and uh, speed and fluidity and so on. You know that I had no uh, big issues compared to my Android devices so I really want to go back to Windows Phone but uh, firstly I need to know what uh, to expect from the new update that's uh, due to arrive as you can see some things did change one of which uh, was uh, one of my biggest gripes with Windows Phone the fact that uh, Behind the live tiles, we had only two options when uh, choosing the background, and that was black or white. A thing that uh, really annoyed me and uh, made Windows Phone 8.1 look uh, pretty dull, pretty um, unimpressive. But right now, we have the option to choose the wallpaper that we want or uh, to choose the background that we want. Now we have translucent uh, live tiles also, and uh, we also have different sizes for the lifestyles, for example, the people sub. As you can see, you can choose how to look uh, on your home screen. Also, in the action menu, previously we had only these options, only four options for our shortcuts, but now if we touch here to expand, we have a lot more options, which is a very good uh, feature that uh, Microsoft added to to this build. Another thing that that, uh, that has changed aesthetically it's in the app drawer if you want, where the background now is present also here, and uh, also although it's not showing right now on top of uh, all the apps. Are present uh, the latest uh, installed apps but as you can see right now it doesn't show because I haven't installed any new apps also another um, thing if we go to settings you're gonna notice that uh, things have changed a bit now we have everything categorized it's easier to access uh, the settings that we need it's easier to see and find uh, for example uh, I don't know the display settings the audio settings and uh, so on 
as you can see this is my device info you can see what uh, I'm running also the build number and so on so in terms of uh, aesthetics things have improved have improved a lot and I really like it I would have preferred also here to see the background but uh, apparently this feature was not added in terms of battery life I've been using this device uh, I have to say it has a great battery life although right now I don't have a sim card inserted in it but I have no complaints with uh, my normal usage um, I get usually about uh, two to three days of uh, using the Lumia 635 with this update there are a few bugs present uh, the main one or uh, the most annoying one if you want is the fact that uh, the back button doesn't always uh, work um, sometimes it works sometimes it uh, doesn't it's a glitch in the system that uh, simply won't recognize the input uh, to the back button this uh, mostly happens when um, using apps and uh, trying to to exiting another thing that um, I've noticed is with uh, Lumia camera sometimes uh, it will just show a black screen although I'm opening the camera but uh, the only thing that I'm seeing it's uh, a black screen I have no viewfinder and uh, also I think this is a bug in the system with uh, which will get uh, eliminated with uh, a newer build in terms of uh, fluidity I have no issues everything is running smooth consider uh, that this device is not a premium one it's a very let's say it's a mid-ranger it doesn't have the greatest hardware but still um, I can help notice how fast everything uh, is how well um, everything uh, just uh, it's just amazing for me and this is one of the reasons why uh, I really want to, to come back to, to Windows Phone. This pretty much does it for this video guys. I hope you like it. If you did hit the like button also, share the video and uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel for future videos. I'm gonna come back with uh, some new videos about the Windows Phone 10 and about the Lumia 635. Until then, thank you very much for watching this one. And as always, you can follow me on my official Facebook page, Google Plus or Twitter. Be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel sign out. Peace.